As you go online with new devices you received as Christmas presents, another warning tonight about an online banking scam. Scammers are targeting email inboxes across Texas. Calistia's West Rappaport has a story on why just clicking the link could put you at risk. It's not the kind of phishing Texans want this holiday season. This website looks like it belongs to Bank of America. The message on the screen asking for a code from your email inbox. The email and associated website looks convincing, DPS says in a tweet. But be careful on what you click. You could be giving scammers access to your money. If one of us would, would click on it, then obviously it's very sophisticated and we, we feel like we need to warn someone. Aaron Blackstone is the chief information security officer for DPS. How often do people fall for uh, some of these scams that are out there. Last I checked, once every 38 seconds, someone actually clicks on the link and enters in their name and password. Blackstone says DPS is on the receiving end of phishing campaigns on a daily basis, but he's sounding the alarm on this specific scam because of its sophistication. It looks like if they didn't work for Bank of America, they might have uh, got on an a old website and pulled down the exact data to make it look like they worked there. They even registered the domain to someone else as well. I would imagine that during the holidays, uh, you know, people are, are buying and spending a little bit more, and so the holidays would be prime time for this. That is 100% accurate, sir. A lot of businesses show increase in revenue. They're going to be uh, transferring money. Uh, a lot of people are going to be emailing um, gifts and whatnot, buying, doing online shopping. Their bank will notify them and let them know that there are maybe issues with, with a credit card or issues with a payment. So people are more apt to click on those links. DPS urges Texans to use two-factor authentication whenever you can. That's that extra layer of security, that one piece of information beyond usernames and passwords that only you know. You get an email saying that there's something wrong with your bank, don't actually click on that email in the link. Go to another, open up another tab on your website and go to your bank. It should still be there if it, if it is legitimate.